We just want to say, 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 we just want to say,
We give you the Oh, Oh, we shall Oh, 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Sister Antonia. Mm-hmm. God bless you, man. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, Thank you, man. Those that are just joining us, we say a big welcome, Sister Calistina. You're welcome. Good to see you tonight. And I think she's a first time at soon. Sister Diola, you're welcome. Welcome to July video. And I pray that God will meet all of our desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the this is the hour where we'll be listening, we'll be hearing from God. 
the Holy Spirit will be teaching us His Word again. And um, just as we know, for many of us that are undiluted women, that is, we are on the group, we are on the WhatsApp group, we know we are in a season of revival. And um, we should even appreciate God because this is our seventh annual revival. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the Lord who has been taking us from strength to strength and from glory to glory. God has indeed been good to us. For us to be able to keep up with this from the first year, even till this seventh year, it has been by God's um, strength alone. The Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. And for us to even be making it, um, making the 40 days, it's um it can only be God. It's not there's the hand of man. There's there's nothing like uh, I'm used to fasting. There's nothing like I'm used to prayer. It has always been God. Nobody can say they are doing it on their own. And I remember also, I don't know how many of us can remember that last video, June video. I mentioned that a revival is going to be starting soon. That was at that time. I think the um, the July video was was it June ten or so or June nine? I think it was like few days to um, when the prayer and fasting was going to start, and I mentioned that throughout this video, we are going to be waking up at midnight to pray. You know, we used to have this regular regular. Um, sorry, somebody's um, mic yeah. is making us. We used to have this regular routine then that we wake up at midnight to pray, but I think later it became something that we'll do today, we won't do, we won't do the next day, and then it was like on and off. And a lot of people really, a lot of people were strengthened during that period. In fact, many people started speaking in tongues through that process. So it came to um, the Holy Spirit put it in my mind again that throughout this fasting and prayer, throughout this positive days fasting and prayer, we'll be waking up at midnight to pray. I wanted to, wanted to wave it that will be like, I mean, I'm going to wake up early in the morning to take care of the children. How is it going to happen? But I mentioned the last last um, video that I don't know how we would do it. I remember that that was exactly the way I said it. I said, I don't know how we would do it. But for these 40 days, we are going to be waking up at midnight to pray. But I trust the Holy Spirit to help us. And today is the 34th day. And I can say that for 34 days, we have been waking up at midnight to pray. And we are not waking up for just 10 minutes, 2 minutes, 5 minutes. We are waking up for more than 30 minutes to pray. Isn't God good? Please, let's, let, let's shout. Let's shout a thunderous hallelujah. Hallelujah, our God is good and is good all the time. The Bible says that those who wait on him, he shall renew their strength. That's what the Bible says. It is when we try to do things on our own that we'll find this impossible, so that we'll find those things difficult to do. But when we rely on God's strength, the um, Apostle Paul said something. He said, I would rather boast in my weaknesses. He, was, he, he, he boasted so much in his weaknesses that the power of God may rest on him. Praise the Lord. And we could see the many signs and wonders that Apostle Paul did. He will claim his weak, but he will trust in the strength of God. And we'll see the mighty wonders that God is doing through him. And that's exactly what has been happening through this um, dur during this revival season also. We want to wake up early to take care of children, to go to school. At the same time, we are waking up at midnight to pray. And God has been strengthening us by the day. We will still have to prepare the word during the day to ensure that that word is, is complete, as in is sent to the group before 12 p.m. So that the person that is praying again in the afternoon can draw their own prayers from it. In fact, it has been God's strength. No man, no man, no man can do this on their own. And that's why I want us to... The, the topic for tonight is related to this introduction I've given already. The topic for tonight... I think we had a snippet of it from um, Sister Anu <laughs> last. Um, that was last weekend when she when she shared um, the facts. Remember that we have been sharing one particular fact each day about wise women, 
and um today is the 34th day i think that day she, what she shared she please let's let's also thank sister Anu. let's thank the holy spirit through her the weekends that are not around that i'm in school she's the one that's taking it up to be sending the um the words the facts to the group so sister Anu, thank you very much let me publicly thank say god. thank you to you thank god because thank god. the first weekend i the first weekend i tried this the first weekend i tried this I told that now. I, I didn't quickly think about delegating it to somebody. So the very first weekend, I I was I was just disorganized. I was destabilized. I wasn't hearing what the lecturer was saying because I, I was in class. I wasn't hearing what, the, I had to go and sit at the back to ensure that this thing is prepared. And so I had very divided mind until I got back home that day and I had to call her to see if she will be able to be doing it every week and that's Saturdays and Sunday. So she has been she has been coming up with something tangible from the tone of wisdom since that time. Thank you so much again, Ma. God bless you. Thank and God. God, God, Thank God. To it's a privilege. You in Jesus' name. So that Amen. very weekend, she shared uh, with us that a wise woman is prayerful. Even though I forgot to tell her that that was exactly what we served this video for. So um and I thank God for what she shared with us also that very day. It's just like an introduction to what we are going to be hearing tonight. And so what we are going to be hearing tonight, the facts we are going to be hearing tonight. Okay, she has shared with us that a wise woman is prayerful. Yes, it's good to pray. It's good to be a prayerful woman. It's good to intercede for people. It's good to, it's, it's good to stand in to stand in gap for, for yourself, for the people around you. But the one we are going to be hearing tonight is just like an advanced um like an advanced um how will i put it an advanced stage to that particular fact that she shared with us so we are going to be hearing from god tonight a wise woman is a winning warrior hallelujah amen a wise woman is a winning warrior praise the lord please if you if, if your mic is not muted please let's echo it together a wise woman or oh, you can unmute woman, your mic and let's all sing together a wise woman is a winning a warrior. A wise woman is a winning warrior. Hallelujah. A wise woman is a winning warrior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A wise woman is a winning warrior. Yes, a winning warrior. Why are we saying that? Why can't we just say a wise woman is a warrior? We could as well say a wise woman is a warrior. Praise the Lord. But is it different Hallelujah. from a wise woman is prayerful? If you say a wise woman is a warrior, is it different from a wise woman is prayerful? Is it every prayerful people that get answers to their prayers? Because I want somebody to answer. Is it no. everyone that is actually no. that get no. answers to their prayers? No, ma. Thank you so much. No. Thank you so much for that answer. So tonight, initially, what came to my mind was a wise woman is a warrior. But just today, that was when that winning just came into it. A wise woman is a winning warrior. So to start with, to start with, there are issues, and I'm sure that all of us know that there are issues. Praise the Lord. As women, we know that in this world there are issues. Issues like we are dedicated to serving God, we are dedicated to praying, we are dedicated to doing those kingdom things that they said we should be doing. And yet it looks like we are still tarring in the place of prayer. And it's, it's like we are still facing disappointment. Some people are still facing delays of all sorts. You understand? And sometimes they want to lose hope. Sometimes they want to they want to give up. You understand? Some of these people, if they don't have strong people around them, just like one of our sisters that just got married recently was sharing with me that if not because she had people of God around her, maybe she would have killed herself. You understand? For someone to be saying that if not because she had people of God, people that God is using around her, maybe maybe she would not even have seen the kind of testimony that God is giving her today. Praise the Lord. So that's why I said there are issues. But in order for us to, in order for us to be able to always prevail in the place of prayer, that is why God has prepared this session for us tonight. And I know that as God is taking us through this. It will be opening our hearts, our hearts one by one, and it will shed his light into it, and it will make his word really simple in our hearts in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you once again for this period. We say thank you for your word that is about to come to your people. Thank you, Lord, because everyone here tonight will be hearing directly from you. 
and not from man. Thank you for all trans, oh God. And thank you for access to the throne of grace. Thank you for access to the throne of mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because your light will shine forth today. Your light will shine in every dark areas of our lives today. You will grant us understanding from your word, and your word will be made simple in our hearts in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus that like never before, oh Lord, like never before, you will open up to us the revelation of your word, the knowledge of your word oh god in the mighty name of jesus father amen. thank you because you have answered blessed be your name forevermore in jesus mighty name we are prayed amen amen hallelujah so to start with as a woman what is my role as a woman as a woman what is my role yes i know that we all came to this world and as we we're growing we had ambitions and we still have ambitions, we have purpose, we have the things that we want to become in this life. Praise the Lord. I'm sure our sister Amy is looking at me. She wants to be one. Uh, there are some people that are already looking up to people like Ibukwa, Woshika, Okonjo, Iweala. Like, if you open my own mind now, you will see, you'll be seeing people like that. Oh my, uh, people that are already doing well in those, um, you understand, like those parastatas, those, you guess that yeah. they, they, they've read to one extent, to one level, and they are now doing, making waves in the, in the, at the federal level, you understand. But then, looking at all of these things, do we, do, do, do we, do we all have, um okay as much as we as, as much as we want to have those kind of um those kind of um status attached to our lives which will not be the same thing for all of us i'm sure we all know while some people are craving for this particular part of the nation other people are craving for this particular aspect of the industry some are craving for that sector some are craving for this sector some prefer to do um um how would i call it some prefer to go into ministry completely some will prefer ministry and then um, just you know this kind of total woman can everybody with their different ambitions but then i i know i know that there is a particular role that is common to every woman and please i want this session to be a bit interactive if you can if you if if, if the holy spirit has dropped that role into your mind there is one particular role that is common to every woman what is that role common to every woman irrespective of how we have different ambitions there is one rule that is common to every woman you can type in, your, in the chat box you can unmute and talk so that we know that everyone is in the spirit tonight Somebody wants to talk. That role that is common to every woman. Okay. Mm, that's in so. the absence of no answer. Is somebody talking? I said, is he an intercessor? Yes. Yes. An intercessor is part of it. But okay, let me just, um, in order not to waste our time, that role, caregiving, okay. Caregiving, yes, is part of it. So now, that role that is common to every woman is the reason why God created woman in the first place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The role that is common to every woman is the reason why God created woman in the first place. You know, when God created man, he said, let us create man in our own image, after, the, after our own likeness. And later, after God created man, he now realized that ah, this man cannot be alone. Let me make a help meet for him. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the living Jesus. So the rule that is common to every woman is that help meet rule. Praise God. Hallelujah. And tonight, as we are sharing this word tonight, I want us to understand that God has given you, God has given me, God has given Sister Kalistina, Sister Odua, your Sister Dini, Sister Nolua, Sister Dekoya, Sister Dejoke, Sister Antonia. God has given every one of us present here tonight that help me ability and you know when god created man and said let me make a help me for him i'm very sure that that ability 
is not limited to that man alone. Praise the Lord. Yes, it is for that man, but we, it is for that particular man. But God has deposited in us that ability, so we can actually even use it for every other place. So praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can actually use it. You know, as we are as we are helping our husband at home, we, are, we can also extend it to helping our children. We can also extend it to helping other people. But there is it's, it's just that the one that is assigned to the man is particularly special than every other aspect. Praise God. So that was that, that, that's the role. That is the particular role that is common to every woman. But then something happened. Man fell. When man fell. It became that everyone fell together. In fact, it was even the woman that made man to fall in the first place. So now, God now realized that it is okay. I think the best thing is for man to come through somebody so that at least it will not be like the, the what happened the first time that just, man just became grown up and started living like that. Praise the Lord. So God now said, okay, let everyone start coming through someone so that we all can grow and follow the process and while following the process we'll go through experiences and while going through experiences we'll be equipped praise the lord please let's let, let, let's see the way it's coming we, we we are now giving birth to as a small child we are going through process while going through process we are seeing experiences praise the lord and while seeing experiences we are being equipped hallelujah the reason why Eve fell in the first place was because she didn't go through process. There was no experience. She did, she did not, there was, there was no experience that, that, that she was, that, that was common around that time for her to say, oh, something like this has happened before in the past. Can I just use this example to correct this particular mistake that is, to correct this particular challenge I'm face to face with, you understand? She just came, bam, like that. There wasn't any process. So assuming there was a process, assuming she grew from the hand of a mother, praise the Lord. Assuming she saw the things that her mother was doing, she saw how her mother was living her life, or she saw how people around her were living their lives. Maybe she would have learned from experiences and she would have been equipped. And that's the difference we have. Um, that, 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 that's the difference between we today and that Eve of that time. That help me ability is still in us. But we are better than her because we grew up following a process. We saw different experiences from our mothers, even from those around us, and then we are being equipped. So after being equipped, praise the Lord. After being equipped, we now get to a point where are we all here? After being equipped, we, we, we now get to a point where we will now be alone. Praise the Lord. And I will call Hallelujah. that stage. We'll call that stage a stage where we have become satisfied warrior. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, we have gone, it's, it's just like going to school. And then after going to school, you, you know, you know the different processes you went through in school. And at the end of your years in school, maybe four years, maybe six years, maybe seven years, at the end of your four, at the end of your four years, you become a satisfied whatever whatever field you went to school to study. So at that time that we also are now grown to be able to be on our own, we have now become satisfied warrior. Praise the Lord. Now, who is the warrior? Who is the warrior? Praise God. Can someone just give a brief definition of who a warrior is? Who is a warrior? In any kind of understanding, layman understanding, it doesn't have to be the dictionary kind of, just what you understand a warrior to be. Stand up, don't sleep. Bro. People don't want to talk. Bro. A warrior is a fighter. Okay, who is talking? I know no apple. Okay, I hope people are not sleeping. It's only sister Anu that is, that is interactive this night. People are sleeping. I'm, yeah, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm not, not sleeping. <laughs> Ma? Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. So, are we okay? Okay, all right. So a warrior is a brave or experienced soldier. Just like you said, a warrior is a fighter. 
a warrior is a brave or experienced soldier. So going through everything we said earlier, we can we can say all the experiences we have grown up with and the knowledge acquired has made us to be brave. Praise the Lord. So Amen. going through everything that we have said, they said the, the, the dictionary meaning says a warrior is a brave or an experienced fighter. So it means that from our childhood to this stage that we are now, we have some kind of experience, right? We, are, we, we have yes. experience and we can say that from the things that we have seen growing up to an extent we have braved. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the living Jesus. But now Amen. I want us to understand that Amen. I want us to understand that it's not enough to be brave and it's not enough to be experienced. So that's the that, that, that's the point we'll be picking our message from tonight. It's not enough to be brave, it's not enough to be experienced. In the world, those things may be enough. Praise the Lord. In the world, those things may be enough. It may be enough for you to be brave. You know, a soldier uh, in the in the physical battle kind of um, setting, a brave soldier can actually overcome. An experienced soldier can also overcome. Praise the Lord, overcome their enemies. Amen. But in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual realm, it's not enough to be brave. It's not enough to be experienced. What is enough is that we do the right thing. We do things the right way bravery is part of it being experienced is part of it but there is a way to do things spiritually there is a way to be a warrior spiritually praise the lord let's read from the book of matthew 12 29 matthew 12 29 please somebody should open and read for us matthew 12 29 A very fast reader, please. Somebody is holding their Bible. Hallelujah. Matthew 12, 29. Or how can one yeah, please, let's, 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 let's read out very well. Matthew 12, 29. Or how yes. can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods? Unless he first binds the strong man, and then he will plunder his house. Praise the Lord. Alleluia. Praise the living Jesus. I know many Alleluia. of us. We many of us. We we are knowledgeable. We are wise. We are intelligent. At least we went to school and we know English very well. Praise the Lord. So, Alleluia. and I'm very sure that this scripture. This scripture is self-explanatory enough, and we can link it also to where we are coming from. The Bible says that, or oh, how can a how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man, and then if he will plunder his house, praise the Lord. Who is this strong man here? <sighs> Who can we liken this strong man to? Eh? Mm -hmm. the devil. The child Praise the Lord. Is somebody talking? The child of God. Is it the devil? The, the devil. devil. The strong man. Somebody said the devil, right? The devil. Yes. Did someone said the devil. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, man. How can one enter a strong man's house? and plunder is good unless it first binds the strong man praise the lord you know i think the mistake yes. many believers it, it, when i when i said that i said there are issues there are issues that some people don't on some people don't really understand many people just think i think it has happened to me too before many many years ago we just sit down there we think that the devil does not have power we sit down there we think that the devil cannot do anything but to be sincere if we don't know how to do things right, this devil can do and undo. It is until we know how to do things right. In fact, I was telling somebody one day that I wish somebody can write a book about the man called devil so that at least people will stop being deceived. People will stop sitting relaxed. People will stop thinking that 
this thing called devil cannot even just do anything for them because it's, it's robbing people a lot and it's robbing people because of ignorance praise the lord it is at people's it's, it's because of people's ignorance that the devil is it's not because they have done anything wrong but it's just because of their ignorance so now the bible is saying that how can we enter a strong man's house unless you first bind that strong man and unless you first bind that strong man and then it will plunder his house praise the lord so to continue this is talking about a case where you go in fight win overcome that situation praise the lord Hallelujah. and make sure that you defeat you have victory over the devil you defeat the devil that's just the explanation this particular scripture is giving us so in essence we have an enemy who is the devil and the devil is the one that is standing in the way of our answers before god and so what does the god what does okay before we move on let's read luke just just to buttress more points let's read luke 11 21 to 22. we have seen that already luke 11 21 to 22. When a strong man full, when a strong man fully armed, oh, your voice is not loud, man. Hallelujah. Amen. When, when a strong man fully armed, guide guide his own palace. His goods are in peace. But when he's stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted and divided and divides his point. His foes, praise the Lord. And you know where we are coming Hallelujah. from? Where we are coming from is that it's not enough to be a warrior. It's enough to be a winning warrior. So in this particular case now, we can see two different things. We saw a strong man and we saw a stronger man. Praise the Lord. We saw a strong man, and we saw a stronger man. Verse 21 says that when a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted and divides his fall. Praise the Lord. So somebody that is already sitting down thinking that I'm brave, I'm experienced, you understand, thinking that, oh, I have done all I can to win praise god but he's not doing it the right way by the time something that can overcome that particular situation comes that's when the person realizes that he has done nothing and that will not be our own case in jesus name when a strong man when a strong man fully armed guards his own palace his goods are in peace Praise the Lord. But when a stronger than he comes upon him and he, and overcomes him, it takes away all his armor in which he trusted and devised before. And that is why we are not supposed to sit down and relax. The Bible talks about praying without season. Praying without season. That's continuous prayer. Continuous prayer. Praying at all times. Very soon, we are going to move to that session where we'll be talking about how to be a winning warrior how to be a winning warrior and it is it is this particular scripture that is going to lead us into that particular session just like the warriors on the physical battle to train so also spiritual warriors also train praise the lord just like the warriors on the physical battlefield train you know they train very well and get set for that battlefield so that at least they can have a winner praise the lord and they want to every side wants to be the winner the same way we christians we believers we also are training ourselves to always win and the only enemy we have is the devil we already know that the devil is strong praise the lord but we want to be stronger we already know that the devil is powerful but we want to always be the one in charge because the bible said he has given us authority that's what the Bible says. It said, I have given you authority to trample upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. He said, they shall by no means hurt you. So who is the strong man that we cannot be stronger than? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the living Jesus. So there is, there, there, is, there, is a way, there is a way to do things, just like I said earlier. 
And this, um, from this moment, we'll be talking about how to be a winning warrior. Please, I would like us to listen carefully because I always want to I, I, I like seeing women praying and having answers to pray, as you understand. You are praying over your husband, you are having answers. You are praying over your children, you are having answers. You are having, so people are sending prayer requests to you, you are having. I remember there was a day, a lady called me during this fasting and prayer. Both of us have been talking about our marriage, even before now. And then there was this, and the issue is that nobody has ever come to have it. That's the issue. Nobody has. In fact, the complaint was the complaint was somehow to me. So that, how can you have such a beautiful lady that nobody is coming towards? You understand? No man at all. So we've been praying together, and so there was this particular time. She called me. She was like, "Ah, a man had come." I was in my mind. I said, "Oh, at least let's thank God that somebody had come." You understand? We thank God for that because at least something is happening already that somebody can now see her. It's no more mm -hmm. a case of she's just living like that, nobody is appearing. So, but the issue now is I have to tell her that, okay, there are different things. This one, yes, we are thanking God that this one has come, but we still need to be sure is it the one so that we don't go and jump into what is not. So I told her that I was going to call her in the middle of the night. We we'll pray together in the middle. I told her I, I, I won't give any time because I was not sure of the particular time. But anytime I call, just make sure that your phone is alert so that you can help uh, pick it. So while praying that night, the reason I'm saying this thing is because we cannot just sit down as women and not have a fervent prayer life that works i'm not saying just a prayer life a fervent prayer life that works a fervent prayer life that you will keep seeing results people people should be able to call you and say i have this issue please help me for it please pray for me it, it, let, let's stop all these um some people are prophetess abuse some somebody is everybody can be that's my own understanding that is my belief and whenever i go to church i hear pastors preach i always like to do the things they are doing so that i can also at least walk to that level that they also have achieved so when she when we started praying that night when we started praying as we we're praying as we we're praying after praying in the holy ghost for some for a while it came to my spirit that after we caught the call i should just tell her that she should dance for a while before going to sleep and i thought i was going to do that dance too while i am also here before going to bed we didn't do the dance together we did it separately it's just the prayer we did together so while I was dancing, I just saw this woman in a flash. The only thing I've been, I've never met her physically. I only saw, I, I only see her on our WhatsApp um, group. So I saw this lady in a flash. I saw her in a very beautiful wedding gown and she had a crown on her head. Honestly, she was looking really beautiful. And the wedding gown was so pure and really white. But I did not see any man try that. Like it was, she was looking really happy. I didn't see any man beside her, but I didn't tell her what I saw. I just left the situation until she came back to me later that she sees some signs that she does not understand, this and that and that and that. And then that was when, that was when I now opened up to her what I saw that. We should not, you understand, the interpretation was that she should not be, she will get married, you understand. She will wear that wedding gown. But we are not sure of the person that will be beside her at that particular time. It may not be that man. We are, we are not even still confident whether it's the one. Until this man now came up with his own um, hidden attitude and started asking her sister for sex. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So that was when the, that was when it was now evident to her. You understand? So many things are going on that we cannot just stay on our own and say, uh, I'm just praying Jelenke prayer. You understand? You are just doing in Jesus' name. Uh, imagine what has been sorted out in that particular instance. Whereas another person, because they have been they have been waiting on God for a while, they have not been getting someone. Somebody just came suddenly. 
That's how they would just say, okay, ah. And the man was even ready. The man said he was ready to get married. It was later he re she realized that this man is not even, this man is not on his own. He's old enough to have an affair, but he's still squatting around with. You understand all of those issues. And that was when she realized all those ones. And we know that for her to have one wedding gown, God is preparing. In fact, that was what other people that she has been seeing have been telling her. God is preparing something better for her, not that particular one. So we can only know these things when our prayer life is fervent. And when we pray the right way, praise the Lord. It is until we pray the right way that we can know all these things. Praise the Lord. So the number one thing to be a winning warrior, the number one point to be a winning warrior, number one, Pray with a clean heart. Praise the Lord. Pray with a clean heart. When we are approaching God, I'm coming. There is something I wrote one time like that. Let me go and see if I will find it. Hallelujah. Amen. Sorry, is my video still on? No. 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 Okay. I'm going to read it out for us. That thing said that it was I, I wrote it by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. But well, we can hear me, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Connect your physical activities. Praise the Lord. Connect your physical activities to how you show up spiritually. Because God is not smoked. A black art with very fluent English. Praying in tongues will receive nothing from God. A heart that is black and is speaking in tongues, praying, using all manner of English, even if the person went to Harvard, Harvard University, the person will still receive nothing from God because God is not smoked. When we show up before God, it is a continuation from who we are and what we have been doing physically. Praise God. God expects the truth from us at all times. So when we approach God, if the last thing you did was that you despised somebody, when you approach God to pray, if the last thing you did was that you despised somebody, start your conversation with God from there. Praise the Lord. Let me start. Let me stop there. Because authentic, authenticity in the, in the place of prayer, how genuine we are in the place of prayer is very important. Where am I? Am I rejoining? Okay. Praise the Lord. So, praying, praying with a clean heart. There is a particular place in the Bible that says that before you pray, if somebody has offended you or you have offended somebody, go back to that person before coming back. I don't know. These are issues that people do. People like to shy away from it. I don't know why. People like to shy away from things like this. And you now expect to now get before God and behave like nothing has happened before you came to the throne of mercy, to the throne of grace. Praise the Lord. It's not, it, it, it's, not, it's not supposed to be. We have to see God as somebody that we can relate with. We have to see God as somebody that knows what is going on even before we go to him. So we should not get to God and behave like, and use bold face to start doing kaleba, shanda, brea, suta, galeba, bosha. No, we should not use bold face to behave as if nothing has happened before we now came to his presence. The, um, um, King David said, creates in me a clean and pure heart. He knew the reason why he was saying that, that creates in me a clean heart. Because he knows that without a clean heart, he cannot get so much from God. The same King David said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Praise the Lord. If I regard iniquity in my heart, he said, the Lord will not hear me. So this is where many believers miss it. I will say this is where, because many people know the word. They can quote the word from morning till night. Many people can speak in tongues. You will be hearing people that you look at and be like, uh-uh, this is a person that is behaving in this manner. And the speaking in tongues is so fluent like this. Praise the Lord. You will, some people will even deny that what you, what, what you are saying they did is not it. You understand? Like You'll be like, uh-uh. But then the Bible, the, God wants us to approach him from where we are coming from. Not as if nothing happened. 
He can even help us to sort it out right there in his presence. So whenever we approach God, please let's not behave like if there is anything we have done to somebody or somebody has done to us that is giving us a heavy heart, please let's pour it down before God. Let's start the conversation with God from there because that is, that is part of the prayer that we want to pray. Let the conversation start from there with God. There are some things, some of these things that we will discuss them. Some of, this, some of the things that cannot enhance a clean heart. We have offenses, just like I mentioned. We have envy, we have jealousy, we have pride. Praise the Lord. All of these things, there is no how we, there's no how our prayer life can grow. Having all of these things as characters, envy, jealousy, pride, um, offenses. Yes, offenses. So I tell people, when it has to do with subject of prayer, this is the first thing. Just have a clean heart. You'll be surprised how your prayers will be having. Everything is not, like I said, everything is not about delay. Everything is not about disappointment. If you're having too much of delay, marital delay, um, childbearing delay, whatever form of delay, it is, please ask yourself, stop doing, uh, maybe it's patience, maybe it's, maybe God, God is testing me. People, people are used to thinking that there's nothing wrong with them. People are, as in, it's, it's so common among people to think there is nothing wrong with them. Some of them to sit down and look inward and think about their own self and be like, where exactly could I have gone wrong? Praise the Lord. Where exactly could I have gone wrong? And that is when the Holy Spirit will now open your eyes to see what exactly you should do. And even if we have very good conscience, too, our conscience, the Holy Spirit will be able to point those things to us. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So I'm very sure that at that point we have gotten it. And if there's any one of us here that needs to work on it very well, the Lord will help us to do it rightly in Jesus' name. Then the second one here is have a prayer routine. How to be a winning warrior. The first one I said, um, pray with a clean heart. Have a prayer routine. Have a prayer routine. And um, the Bible says we should pray without season. If you have a prayer routine, this will help you to pray without season. It will not be enough for you to have a good heart. If you have a clean heart and you are just having a clean heart without praying regularly, you are still not working towards being a winning warrior. The clean heart is just um, giving you the, the, the advantage for quick answers to your prayer. That is what the, the clean heart is giving you. But when you have a prayer routine, you pray without ceasing. You are helping yourself spiritually. And the way to do this effectively is better to join a particular group that prays. Apart from your morning devotion, apart from the devotion you have with your family, there is need to have to join a particular group that prays. If you join a particular group that prays, you know that whether you like it or not, that prayer must hold. It's not you alone. You are not the only one praying at this time. Praise the Lord. Those people are praying. There are people praying on as women on the United International. We all know that we pray by 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So whether we like it or not, that prayer must hold. And it's a good thing that we even type. The people that were not available at that particular time, I see them come up later to come and write amen, put sticker, amen in Jesus' name. You understand? So there is no how when we have that kind of routine in our prayer lives, it helps us to be strong also. The Bible says in Psalm 84, verse 7, it said they go from strength to strength, each one of them as they appear before him in Zion. Praise the Lord. So when we appear before God with a group of people, we are even more strengthened. Praise the Lord. And I've said it times now, number two here before that. Woman undiluted is helping my own prayer life also because I'm praying with people. The kind of prayer prayer point I don't even know that I can prepare. Other people are preparing and I'm praying the point they are posting. Praise the Lord. So let's ensure that we join a prayer group, having a prayer routine. Then the third one is pray with the word of God. Pray with the word of God. Something I've learned to say whenever I'm praying is, for it is written. After I have spoken the English, I know how to speak. Therefore, it is written or it must appear. That particular word that goes in line with that particular prayer I'm praying, it must appear. Many people will, will see me sending um, DMs to them anytime we are praying in the afternoon. That please let's find a particular Bible verse to portray this prayer we are praying. Maybe the person has forgotten or something, but 
or it, it, it's it's a culture it's a spiritual culture it's not my personal culture it's a spiritual culture no matter how much you pray go and learn go and borrow english from anywhere borrow yoruba from anywhere borrow the particular word i are speaking from anywhere if this word of god has not been used to buttress that prayer we may be praying and miss seriously because even Jesus Christ was a very good example for us, a very good example. And I learned that it is written also from him. That was the way he was answering the devil. Even at the synagogue, when he was with people preaching to them, he would refer to the books of the prophets of old, the people that came earlier than him. He would refer to the book and quote a particular scripture from it. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. So let's learn to pray with the word. Even if it's ordinary opening prayer we are taking, let one word of God be in that opening prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The Lord will help us in Hallelujah. Jesus' name. One thing that Satan fears, if yes, if yes, that it is written, he doesn't like to hear it is written. He hates it. And that is his weak point. Once you hear that written word, that's that written word of God that you speak out, you have read, you have succeeded in weakening the devil. Praise the Lord. So somehow, all of these things, they are not so difficult if we can allow the Holy Spirit to help us. And it's just a matter of asking the Holy Spirit to help us. So we have talked about having a clean heart. We have talked about having a prayer routine. We have talked about praying with the Word. So the next thing we are going to be talking about is let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's learn to pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, if you are not baptized with the evidence of speaking in tongues, you are not baptized yet in the Holy Ghost. Please, I would like us to work on it from tonight. Please, let's work on it from tonight. There is power. There is power. When the Bible says the effectual father and prayer of a righteous man avails much, it's not by speaking English. It's not by speaking Yoruba. It's by utterance. That utterance, it can be English, but let it be utterance from the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, I will open. Where is that Bible verse? I think there is a Bible verse to buttress that. Why the, why the Bible says, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Praise the Lord. Okay, I'll find it later. So no matter how friends will speak, if the utterance is not from the Holy Spirit, we may be praying at me. So let's learn to pray very well in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in the book of Romans 8, 26, Romans 8, 26, it said, um, okay, let's read this. Romans 8, 26, it said, for, um, we do not know how we, we do not know what we should pray as we ought, but the spirit helps our weaknesses with groanings that words cannot express because it's praying the mind of the father for us. The Holy Spirit is praying, he knows the mind of the Father. So when we are speaking in the Holy Ghost, he's giving us the right prayers to pray. You will realize that there are some times that you stood up. There are times I wake up in the middle of the night. I don't even know what, and that's why I used to tell people that pray a uh, midnight prayer. There is no particular prayer for the NATO. It is as we wake up that we are praying because I'm not planning anything. Once I wake up to start praying and I start speaking in tongues, the Holy Spirit will start giving utterance, and that is when you now feel start posting scriptures, start posting something because the Holy Spirit is laying something in our hearts to pray about. Praise the Lord. So, as much as possible, let's learn to pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's learn. And that, this, is, this is where I see that God is even fair. For those that are not really fluent, for those that don't know much English, for those that cannot put their words together, can't we see that God has been fair to us? Praise the Lord. Because when you speak in the Holy Ghost, and God is telling you the, the exact thing to say, you are just as good as you know what to say. Praise the Lord. And the Lord will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Then number five, Let's learn to pray at midnight. If you are getting anything, please be writing it in the chat box. If there is anything you have learned tonight, please write it in the chat box. Let's learn to pray at midnight. Pray at midnight. Pray at midnight. That's the number five. The Bible, let's read. Somebody should please read Matthew 13, 25. Matthew 13, 25. Matthew 13, 25. Hallelujah. Amen. But while Mel slept, 
his enemy yeah. came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. Praise the Lord. While men slept. To tell us that the enemy that we have does not sleep. He doesn't sleep at all. So if the enemy can stay up at night to be doing, we also can be up at night to undo. Praise the Lord. Does it mean that praying during the day cannot undo the doings of the enemies? No, it doesn't mean that it cannot undo it. But there is one thing that I know and I believe strongly in that. God does not overlook sacrifices. That you are sacrificing your sleep for midnight prayers. You are staying up at night to pray. It's a sacrifice. And God will see that desperation. Uh, there, there's no how a person will be desperate spiritually that God that the person will not have prompt answers. Even outside prayers, even sacrificial giving, services in the kingdom of God, you are doing it desperately. There is no how you are doing anything desperately for God that God will not see you as more special than those that are just doing the regular. It has happened in the Bible. There are many examples that we can look at in the Bible. Um, this man, Jacob, in Genesis 32, 26, please, I want us to read that first. Genesis 32, 26. Let's see what happens to Jacob there. Genesis 32, 26. Genesis 32, 26. And it said, let me go for the great grace but he said i will not let you go unless you bless me your voice is not so loud man. please reach out very well okay genesis 32 26 and he yes. said let me go for the great grace but he said i will not let you go unless you bless me praise the lord da that particular incident that happened between Jacob and the angel. Genesis 32, 26. Wrestling with God. Let me read from 22. He said, and he rose that night and took his two wives. Okay. He took, okay, let me read from 25. Mm -mm, 24. Yes, 24. It was in the night too. Then Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day praise the lord a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day see how desperate a person is so now when he saw that he did not prevail against him when that one saw that he did not prevail against jacob he touched the socket of his hip and the socket of jacob's hip was out of his joints as he wrestled with him and he said, let me go for day breaks. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, what is your name? I will not let you go unless you bless me. He's coming out from a point of desperation. I'm not, they've been wrestling, you know. If you, if, you don't, if you don't bless me, you are going nowhere. And it's happened at midnight. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said that. An enemy comes in the night to sow tears among wheat. So we also are children, as children of God, if we learn to stay up at night, in fact, we can even do just to wake up in the middle of the night. Even if it's 10 minutes, God will help us to get to 20 minutes. God can help us to get to 30 minutes. God is able to do it that we'll pray for one hour. And the willingness, it starts from us being willing. When God sees that we really thirst for it, when God sees that we really long for it, it's because God saw that we really long to stay up at night during this season. That's why he has been doing it for us from day one till today. And we have been staying up at night to pray because God sees that these people want this thing. So it's about the willingness first. It's about our own choice first. God will not force it on us. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So it's a sacrifice we are making, and God still honors sacrifices. Anybody can pray during the day, but midnight prayer 
present us before God has been desperate, just like I said earlier. Also, people are more vulnerable to attack at midnight. We also can launch a deadly surprise attack on our enemies at midnight. As the enemies are doing their own, we also, we can be many steps ahead of them. And this last one on that prayer at midnight, closed doors can be opened at midnight. Closed doors can be opened at midnight. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so the last one in how to be a winning warrior. Nobody is writing anything in the chat box. Please, let's be a bit um, active. I want us to be a bit active. Let's just write something. Let's, let, let's be a bit active. Let's not just sit down and listen. Let's also communicate with ourselves. I want to read from you. I want to know what you've been hearing, what you've been learning since this um, teaching session started. Praise the Lord. So pray for others. That's the last one. Pray for others. Pray for others. That's intercessory prayers. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 6, 33, it said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added to you. So seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, part of it is interceding for other people. We are praying for people that cannot, that, 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 that are not able to do it on their own. Some people may not even know that we are praying for them. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, like thy kingdom come, let your kingdom come. So as we are praying thy kingdom come, we are we, we are actually populating the kingdom of God and we are depopulating the kingdom of uh, the kingdom of the devil. Praise the Lord. So um and for many of us that we know also, Woman on Diluted International, this is our core area. We do prayers of intercession every afternoon. And we do it by the guideline that the Holy Spirit gave us. On Mondays, we pray for our spiritual leaders. On Tuesdays, we pray for churches and ministries. On Wednesday, we pray for um, we pray for the salvation of souls. We pray for those that are in prison. We pray for the pregnant women. We pray for those that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We pray for waiting sisters, sisters that are trusting God for their own husband. And we also pray for those that are job seekers. We pray for the sick also. We pray for those that are sick. On Wednesday, we pray for the widows. We pray for the widowers. We pray for the orphans and the less privileged. On Fridays, we pray for Nigeria. And on Saturdays, that's when we now remember to pray for ourselves. Praise the Lord. So how, how, will, how will a woman be wise doing these things? And God will not now take such person or such people as his own. Um, uh, God will not answer their own quickly. There is a line in our daily declaration. If you remember, that line says that while I am yet speaking, the Lord has attended to my needs. So these are the things that God, while you are busy doing God's own, God is also busy sorting out your own. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And um, these are the things that wise women do, really, as being helped by the Holy Spirit, as being helped by the Holy Spirit. And um, we should be known for, we should be known to be enviable helpmates and winning warriors, not just a warrior. Enviable helpmates in every aspect, to our husbands, to everyone that we come across. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So God is the one who can help us. Let, let, let's round up by saying this. God is the one. It's not by our strength. Many people will see us um, doing this, doing that. And that's why we all must always learn to attribute things to God. It's God that is helping me to do this. It's God that is helping me to do that. So I wrote, I said, God is the one who can help us through his spirit, through his own spirit. Just like we have been doing for the good text four days now. It is God. We are fasting, we are praying, we are, we are preparing prayers, we are preparing the world, staying up at midnight to pray. Many people are even doing beyond this. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And I hope that with what we have heard tonight, by the special grace of God, we will remain winning warriors. We will be good help me to our husband. For those that are not married, God will give you your own bone of, the bone of your bone and the, fle and the flesh of your, of your flesh. And you will, the, the, with what you have learned tonight by the special grace of God, you will be, be an enviable helpmate and a winning warrior all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. Let's bow our hearts and appreciate God. Okay. Let's bow our hearts and appreciate God for the word we have received tonight.
Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory for your word has come from the throne of wisdom again tonight. Thank you for teaching us by yourself, O oh God. Thank you for bringing to our remembrance all the things that you have taught us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because we will not just be hearers, but also to us. Blessed be your name forevermore, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Kalista has said, I have learned the importance of prayer. I have learned the importance of prayer, especially praying at midnight. Praying at midnight as sacrifices we make because it shows how desperate we are in trying to solve spiritual problems. Yes, thank you so much, Ma. Fight spiritual battles. I also learned the major role of all women, irrespective of our status, career, yes, is to be a helpmate. And we should learn to be an enviable help. God bless you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing it again to our remembrance. Even me, I will still go back to read my book very well of everything that the Holy Spirit have dropped tonight. We are, Sister Anu said we are to be enviable help me and a winning warrior. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Anu, for, for that summary. And I hope that we all have been blessed tonight. If you have been blessed, shout a thunderous hallelujah and write in the chat box, I have been blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, so right now we are moving to the prayer session. Let me check. Who who has prayer one? Please, who has prayer one? Sister Joker? Yes. Okay, you are there. Five minutes, please, for all the prayers. Five minutes. Hallelujah. James 1 22. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. James 1 22. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. Lord Jesus, we thank you again for your word that has come straight from the throne of wisdom. We bless you, Jesus, for this word in season. In Jesus' name. Amen. So pray our prayer point goes to us. Father, we decree that we will not just be hearers, but also doers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You can help us post this in the chat box too. Is there a chat? Okay, if you can't find it, please just read. Yes, you can just keep it. Don't call me, cities. Okay. Okay, I've seen it. Sorry. So I've dropped it there. Okay. Father, we decree that we will not just be hearers, but also do as we will not be hearers, Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you again for your word that has come straight from the throne of wisdom. We bless you, Jesus, for this word in season. Father, we decree that we will not just be hearers, but also doers of your word in Jesus' name. Father, we will not just hear your word tonight. You will help us to do. Lord, you will help us to do. Father, you will help us to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we 
area bukala bushata ina makunda lige zekende hina arene mezune mekende liba bushata father i decree and i declare that in the name of jesus you will help me oh god to be doers of your word i will be doer of your word oh god Lord, it will help everyone present here tonight to be doers of your word. We will not just hear your word, O oh God, we will also do in the name of Jesus. Father, grant us the strength, O oh God. Grant us the ability. Help us to be to be able, O oh God, to do that which you want us to do part time. To do the, to, to to do your word accordingly. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rabunda Leba Shanda Ibriaga Leba Boshataya Kelete Ina Mazuze Kelebo Boshata Ina Rabiana Mazune Mekende Geleba Bo Rakalina Mazuze Kelete Gede. Father, you said in your word that we should not just be hearers but also doers of your word, not deceiving ourselves. Father, help us never to deceive ourselves, oh God. Help us never to deceive ourselves, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, let us always be truthful to ourselves. Let us always tell ourselves the truth, oh God. Let us always act upon that which you are teaching us, oh God. Let us always act upon that which you have taught us, oh God. We are taught by you, oh God. We are taught by you, oh God. For I am taught of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Kaliando leba shataya. Erunda galema rubo shataya. Marwande Gelina Kazutanga da Libaba, Rizzi Katada Hina Malibo Boshataya, Marianne Gelina Kazutaya, Eraba Kalina Makaleba Boshataya, in the name of Jesus. She don't. Oh, Radu Geliba Bo, Marianne Gelina Kazutaya, Viviane Mazune Mekele Gelita Shandichi, Viviane Mazune Mekelita. Mr. Jockey, are you done? Yes, ma'am, I'm done. Sorry, I didn't know. Did not tell us in Jesus' mighty name we are free. Right. Sorry, who is taking us prayer to? Prayer to? I don't take prayer to. Sorry, who has prayer to? Okay, let me take this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good. All the time. All the time. I'll be posting in the chat box. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians 6 and verse 10 to 11, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the old armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Upon this understanding, let's begin to say, Lord, I decree that I am daily strengthened in you and in the power of your might. I surrender my weaknesses before you tonight, Lord. Father, let your strength be my strength. I decree that I would never be weak in the place of prayer anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, 
Praise the Lord. Sister, I didn't make a prayer three. Praise the Lord. This is Sardinia Kedja. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Can we hear me? Okay. Yes, yes. ma'am. Okay, I'm posting the prayer on the group chat now. And we are reading from the book of John, chapter 4, verses 24. It says, God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I want us to begin to pray unto God that God should rid us of everything that will stand against us 
that will stand against us and God in the place of prayer. Prayer in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to get rid of our Lord Jesus. Rid me of anything that will stand against me and you in the place of prayer. Pray to me a clean heart, Lord. Pray to me a clean heart, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come and rise upon this man. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Denike Salau, are you there? Oh, okay. I think I'll just take the prayer file because she has not even read the, prayer, uh, the message on her. She has not read the message on her WhatsApp. Maybe she's using a different <coughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. So in a moment, we are going to be praying the fourth prayer. And the scripture for this 
um, okay, we're going to find it in the book of Luke 21 and verse 13. But it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. That particular, Amen. Man, like that particular situation Amen. will turn out for you as a location for testimony in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. So we are going to Amen. be saying, Father, Amen. we are going to be saying, Father, in the uh -huh. remaining six days for these revivals to be over, in the remaining six days for these revivals to be over, we ask that these days shall be days of divine reward everyone that have been engaging faithfully and everyone that will still join us in the name of jesus father in the remaining days for this revival we ask that this day shall be days of divine reward for everyone that have been engaging faithfully and everyone that will still join us in the mighty name of jesus in the name of jesus we have no further need of jacob six days for the let this day that you have a session let it this kind of language let it be let it Yes, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have we have come into the fifth section of the prayer, and the Bible text here is taken from the book of Psalm eighty-one, verse ten, which says, "I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it up." 
we are going to begin to tell God this moment that every prayer we have prayed so far, we are going to decree instant answer, instant answer to all our prayer. The prayer has been said already. This whole oh Lord, I ask that every time I open my mouth to pray. I have answered from the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not pray on my own. I pray with the direction of the Holy Spirit. I pray according to the mind of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that I will not pray on my own. I pray with the direction of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that I will not pray on my own. 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 I will not pray on Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are praying. Yeah, we are praying in a bit now. Please give me a moment to post the prayer into the chat box. So, first, this prayer is in two parts, and we'll be praying for our leader in person of and the visionary of Woman Undirected International. We'll be praying from this scripture. I will put the remaining part of the uh, message uh, there. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 61, verse 1, it said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. And the uh, prayer says that, Father, we pray for your daughter, whom we have so gifted, and called into the assignment to oversee this ministry, Woman on the International. We ask, oh God, that this Bible verse is a reality in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to start praying Amen. right now. 
that everything she does tries in her hand in the name of Jesus Christ, that she goes from strength to strength. Sister Davidson, we pray that you go from Jesus, strength from glory to glory, you know the Lord better in the name of Jesus Christ. You are for signs, you are for wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. You declare that your life will come to show for the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything she lays her hand upon prosper. Woman on the earth, that I'm going to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Woman on the earth, that I'm going to be strengthened in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything she does, she tries in the name of Jesus Nothing it says a people come great and strong the like of whom has never been nor will there be any such after them even for many successful generations a fire defaults before them and behind them a flame burns the land the land is like the garden of eden before them and behind them a desolate with that is surely nothing shall escape them let's lift up all coordinators and everyone serving in this ministry as co-laborers into the hands of the lord ask that each and every one seven in this ministry that the lord will take everyone into a new season of fresh revival in, Amen. in everyone's personal life every one of us every one co laborer in this ministry enter Amen. into a new realm of personal revival our altar will continue to burn as the winning warriors we are in the mighty name of jesus christ let's talk to the lord tonight Whatsoever, 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, everyone. Our, our strength is renewed in Jesus' name. To take Amen. us for that tonight. To take us for that tonight is a, is a testimony time. Testimony time. The Lord has done Testimony something time. great in your life and you want to share with Testimony others. Time. Testimony shared is testimony multiplied. Please, if you have a testimony, kindly raise your hand and share your testimony before the people tonight. Hallelujah. Please, how do I, how do I raise my hand? I want to share testimony. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can just, okay, you talked already. It is already, man, so you can just talk. <laughs> Good evening, yes, everyone. Good evening, Good evening everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, I, I want to bless God for my life and for my family since I joined um this uh, ministry. The Lord has blessed me in so many ways, you know, through the word of God and through the daily decrease. You no, know, the testimony I want to share is specifically what happened. I think is the first video we had after I joined maybe february or march i can't really recollect you no know, that first vg uh, and you know when they started after a while i slept off so i could not i did not even off my phone but i just slept off in the video maybe during the um, process of the message or so so i could not finish the video so a week later i think the week after the vg so one of the prayers that I think then we are still using micellar or so. So is our um, uh, mommy sister added to that led the prayer that day. So she just led the prayer that there was a prayer that come during the video that God said we should pray the prayer again. So when they post, she post the prayer on WhatsApp and they said we should pray it. You know, when we are when they when she called the prayer, I realized that ah. It's pain me so much that I slept off in that video because that prayer was actually for me and my family. If you can still remember, the prayer is about God is taking us to a place that we have been desiring and God will make it um, be going there. The Lord will go ahead of us to prepare the place, to secure mm -hmm. it and everything. Yeah. So that it was that prayer. So it actually happened the last year where we are staying, you know, the apartments we are staying in, you know, the what is it, the, the uh, children of the landlord have been disturbing us for a while because they have issue with their family in their family. So the last year when the, um, what, uh, some set of people they came and part of the children and they start harassing me and my husband and that and we are paying them we are not owing them. Because they have issues within themselves, they said the person we are paying to is not the person we are supposed to pay to and all those things. So one of them said some things that got me angry in my spirit. And I told him, I should not bother that by this time next year, 
they mm. will, will not even renew our uh, our rent. That God will just do it miraculously and we move out of the house. So that was what I told them. That they, you know, after then, it has every time I remember that word, it's I, I always have this fear because in my area, the amount they are renting houses now is very, very bogus. That even my salary and that of my husband convert together may not be able to afford it. So it has been a big burden in my house. So when that prayer came that day, I said, ah, I just came to it. I even sent it to my husband. I told him, yeah. I know that this prayer is for us, so, and God will answer it. Not quite long after that, God answered it. You no, know? God did it in a miraculous way. It's, everything is just a testimony. Everything that the, all the agents normally collect, in my area, they collect 20, 20, 10. At this 20 for uh, agreement, and 20 for uh, um, agency, then 10% for damages after the house rent. And... The house rent is always book goes because of the money. But when God will do it, it's everything. All those ones is not they do not collect all those. Even the landlord oh. just said he did not even collect agreement fee. He just collect oh. thirty thousand as damages. I said, Wow, this can oh. only be God. I want to bless God. This Hallelujah. month, by the grace of God, we will be moving to, before the end of this month to, into that new apartment. I want to bless God for what God did because no, I have I, I thought how is it going to happen? But God really surprised us. Everything to pay the money, everything. God just did it in this. You no, know, just like that prayer says that it will come seamlessly. And God mm-hmm. did it seamlessly. So I want to bless the name of the Lord. May his name will not be placed forever in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And thank you, my God bless you. Thank you for leading to God. I pray that the anointing of God over your life will not run dry in Jesus' Amen. name. Thank Amen. you for being an inspiration. Amen. Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Thank God for the testimony. Sister Fumi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord with a song, and I want to give him glory because God is in our midst and is mighty and is intentional about us Hallelujah. every step of the way is very intentional i'm going to bring this testimony by the grace of god in full details by the next video but i don't want to sing this song to him for what he's been doing in my life and in my family and in woman on the international because god is in neighbor is in the neighborhood and he's changing our stories for the better and i want to mm-hmm. just give him all the peace Eshe he be nati bere. Eshe he be tebade. Glory to God in the highest. Lord, every good works in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I celebrate every one of us. I celebrate, most of all, I celebrate Miss Ade Tutu for being a wonderful friend and a sister. And, you know, each and every one of you, you don't know. Sometimes I don't come online to pray, like, because of the time difference and everything. But I'm always following the prayers. And every day, those prayers mm-hmm. that come on, 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 on the group are pointers to things that are really going on. And I just want to bless the name of the Lord for each and every one of us. And I pray that the Lord will continue to use us for his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do we have any other Amen. testifier? Okay, Sister Anu. Sister Anu is raising her hand. Sister Anu, you are muted. Sister Anu, you are muted. Sister Anu, Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for his faithfulness over my life and family. I want to thank God for Women Undiluted International uh, and uh, the woman of God that sets the convener of the ministry. 
she's been an inspiration to me personally i want to give god all the glory because normally i'm always i've always been the person okay i'm always making plans to wake up at night to pray like always making plans but not all the time meeting up so I'm, i was i might is it challenged or i was i was um encouraged whenever each time i see her every i mean almost every night every night praying I'm always encouraged to wake up and pray, or it I even be on the bed, boys. So she has been an encouragement. I want to thank God for her life. And I want to thank God for answered prayers. Answered prayers. Um, it might not, they might not be major, major. Maybe I built a house or I bought a car or major ones, but the little, little ones that wow. are so pressing, they were major, they were major prayer points years back and probably a few months back. Wow. Counting, looking back. And counting the blessings, I want to give God all the glory because God has been faithful. The little little things probably may have even been in, in that in my thoughts, myself and my siblings. I want to thank God because God has actually been faithful. He's a faithful God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's lift up our hands and begin to appreciate God for these testimonies. God is the doer. Only God can do it. What no man cannot do, only God can do it. Let's appreciate God for our sister, sister Iniola, for the testimony that she shared, for the testimony sister Fumi shared, for the testimony sister Anu shared. This can only be the hand of God. It's the finger of God that we are seeing. Lord, we appreciate you. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Great things he has done. Great things he has done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May we Amen. remain winning, winning warriors in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so the, Amen. So the hour has come. The hour has come, and it's the hour of our um, personal supplication. And there is something I believe that, you know, there's something about the beginning and the end of a particular thing. For everything there is beginning, there is midway, and there is the end. The thing about God is that even if we miss the beginning and we miss the middle, if we are still able to partake of that end, one thing about God is that we still have the same reward. In most cases, those that are joining at the 11th hour, we still have that reward as much as those that joined early still used to have. And that's why even if I go for video, all these um, our winners video that start from 11 to 5 a.m., before I got married, I realized that I don't close my eyes from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. Like, I don't blink like this. I'm fully into the future. But I realized that when I started having babies, when responsibilities started coming, during the video, I used to do so. Sometimes I would even lay my mask and sleep for like one hour, two hours, and then join again. But I make sure that I don't miss towards the end of the video. So tonight, this is the hour that we all normally long for. So please, please, if there is anybody you can call or you feel somebody is sleeping already, let's try to wake them up so that they can be part of this particular hour as we round up. It's going to be for a period of 30 minutes and it's not going to just be 30 minutes physically. In the spiritual realm, that 30 minutes may be for like, maybe like um, restoration of plenty years for another person. Praise the Lord. And Hallelujah. even as we have said it now, let, let's hold on to that word. Restoration of many years, many lost years for many people in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Sister Anu. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Romans, Romans 8 verse 22 say, 26 says, Likewise, the Spirit him. The Spirit help us to help us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray. For as we ought, to, as we ought, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groaning too deep for words. 
And Jude one twenty also says, "But you, beloved, building up, building yourself up in your most holy faith and praying in the Spirit." Now it's time to build ourselves up again. Let's begin to pray in the Spirit. Let's begin to build ourselves up right now. Let's begin to power up in the Spirit. Let's begin to power up in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Thank you. 
Let's power up in the spirit sisters. Let's power up in the spirit sisters. In the name of Jesus. This power of God is real here right now. Makita Libra Kataya Gadaya Gadaya Mazun de 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 Lakete <laughs> <laughs> 
Lift up your heads, O Yigis, and be lifted up, ye everlasting ones, that the King of glory might come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Ali Kaike Isa in the de 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 bosom de Ika Ida la na mazunde ya. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Makuta lipa in the de de boshataya. Ligla dash masun te de bosha. Ezika lipa taya gadaya. Ligla dash masun te libra de 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 the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Makuta libra kataya gada mazunde de 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 bosha taya. Ezi kalipa taya gada ya. Mama kalipa de de bosha taya. Malipa taya mazunde de 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 de. And your is okay. The fire I got it. It's okay. Hey, let fire I am a cut and lick at I am a zunde de de de. Brakatele kete ya gada ya ma zunde li kada ya. Brakatele kete ya gada ya ma kita li kata ya. Kali kete ya gada ya ma kutele bo shata ya. Ezi kali kata ya zinde de 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 de. Ma kita na the King of Glory himself will come in ma kuta ya gada ya. Ezi kali pa 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 ya. Eli gladash ma zunde li kata ya. Ezi kali kata ya. Who is the King of Glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle? Makita li kati le mazunde de de bosha in de le bosha taya li gladash mazunde de 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 bosha ezi kali kata ya gada ya de le bosha in de de bosha akita la ba mazunde de de bomo kutu mazunde in de in de in de bo 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 rakata le kete ya gada mazunde li kata ya rande bosha in de ika in de ika in de ika rande bosha in kata ya gada ya rakata le kete mazunde li kata sota ya ande de 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 mazunde de 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 rakata ya gada mazota ya gada ya ma 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 zin de 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 rakata le bosha in de le bosha 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 rakata le bosha in de
Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, our Father. 
Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Makikali kataya, brakata lekete ya gadaya, zikali kampaya, linde bosha ikete ya, zikali brakata ya, linglarash. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our God is good all the time. And all the time. Our God, God is good. God is good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank Jesus. Our Lord has done. Um, this is the idea last still around. Stadiola, yes, please lead us in five minutes, praise. Hi, praises. Yeah, praise. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, 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 the banner of the Lord. Hallelujah. I will let you know. For you have For you have our enemies. 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 For Yes, be your to you, Lord. Be your to you, Lord. Be Oh, 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, if you have enjoyed yourself tonight, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, the Bible says the part of the justice has a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. The July video has shined brighter than the past video. And we know that the August video too will be will shine brighter than this particular one. Because the Bible says that the glory of the latter house shall always be greater than the former. And so shall it continue to be even in our individual lives also in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, before the before Sister Fumi takes us in the announcements, I would like to specially appreciate everyone that served tonight, everyone that we gave one prayer point or one um, task for the other two praises, the open praise, the praise at the end, the um, all the prayers that we listed, every session that somebody participated. Thank you so much for um, availing yourself. Thank you so much for serving God tonight and for everyone to that present tonight. It's an encouragement because one person cannot do it, the person will get tired. All of us together here, we are inspiring ourselves, we are motivating ourselves. So I want to say a very big thank you to everyone. Also, a special thank you to every prayer coordinator as Woman Non Diluted International. Just like I said when I was talking the other time, I said that some prayers that people will post that you don't even know that such prayers can even, you understand, like. People will post prayers and you'll be like, ah, I never thought of this kind of prayer in this life. So I also appreciate all our prayer coordinators also for always taking their time to hear directly from the Spirit and to prepare prayer, especially in this season where they will even still need to add extra efforts. And we even announced from the beginning so that there is nothing like postponing our prayers from so like the usual, like is um like some people used to do before that, I understand the nature of our work, but everybody just needed to work with that talk in this 40 day season. So I want to say a very big thank you for, for that commitment. God bless you. God bless your labor of love in his fine year in Jesus' mighty name. And may, he come, may we continue to be useful vessels in this kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Sister Fumi. <laughs> Announcement and closing prayer. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, by the grace of God, refreshing and reviving continues today. It's a brand new day already to the glory and praise of the name of the Lord. And we are glad and we rejoice in this new day that the Lord has caused us to see because we are confident that today, Lord, that will benefit for us again and again. And let's not forget, as our uh, tradition is, that after vigil like this, every month we go to our respective churches on Sunday tomorrow and we give an offering linked to this video that we have attended and we'll package that offering in the light of Woman on the International. Of course, we are dropping it in our churches, but very it should be noted in our mind and in our envelopes that we are giving this offering uh, 
based on what God is doing at Woman Undirected International, and we are using it to appreciate the name of the Lord for what he's doing in our lives. And so by the grace of God, we have approximately five days more because today is day 35 and refreshing and reviving con and reviving continues i pray that the lord will continue to revive us and make his word appear to us much more and more in the name of jesus christ we want to have the body encounter with him in the name of jesus christ Amen. also Amen. please know that uh our prayers continue by 12 noon on a daily basis and uh, the decrees come let's make sure we share this decree we continue to evangelize to share the decrees with other people with an, uh, everywhere we can share it on our statuses on our uh, what um facebook you know for as many of us that are using facebook instagram please go to instagram uh instagram please like it share it and i pray that the lord will continue to use those words for glory in our lives in the mighty name of jesus christ and everyone that sees us posting these words will see the testimony in our lives and see that yes we are serving a living god in the mighty name of jesus christ and this will draw multitude to his kingdom in the precious name of jesus christ and let's Amen. not forget also that uh, our vigil is like every second friday of every month and so it's very important that we keep this in mind and we continue to pray even concerning the programs that we have in the future every prayer point uh every for the remaining days of the refreshing and reviving let's continue to lift up our sister also the leader that has been bringing the word to us that the lord will continue to bring on her and also continue to pray for the coming video and to appreciate god for this day that we have experienced also Amen. 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 Let's not forget our prayer is, is basically linked to kingdom advancement. And let's not forget to make sure that we are doing this in all of our endeavors. I pray that the Lord will continue to help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I hope I've been able to cover all of the announcements. So let us pray. Uh, we should say the uh, personal declaration. Should we say that before we pray or we say it after we pray? We can see it after. Okay, please, please, someone can help us post it on the chat while we pray. Precious Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you praise. We give you all of the glory. We worship your majesty, oh God. It's such a wonderful, wonderful time in your presence tonight. It's been indeed refreshing and reviving. We see you in our midst doing wondrous works. We thank you for your word that has come to us, for us to be hidden warriors. Lord, it can only be you who have sent us this word. It's a word in season for us to remain in our position, in our place that you have called us to be because you have not called us to seek you in vain and you have called us to be an eternal winner. And so we are so grateful for this reminder and for your word that has come to us again tonight. We ask, Lord, that the grace for us to engage with your word, to do that which we need to do part time, to pray, to have a prayer routine, to pray with a cleaner to come with all sort of all authenticity to be real with you father we receive this grace in the mighty name of jesus christ the grace for us, to pray to you, God, for us to pray in the holy ghost for us to pray at midnight hour for us to 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 sacrifice our time the sleep and everything lord jesus we ask that you release unto us in the mighty name of jesus christ most of all that the grace for us to seek first your kingdom above all else lord we ask god that you grant to us in the mighty name of jesus christ all that Amen. we need all that we have been learning since this revival started lord jesus that lord will continue to work with them all in the mighty name of jesus christ all of Amen. this world lord god almighty none of it shall stand against us on the last day but lord will work with them and our lives will be transformed by your word in the mighty name of jesus christ Amen. we thank you for this weekend is a blessed one for all of us we thank because you have gone ahead of us to make every prayer pass straight we thank because we enjoy your goodness in the land of the living we thank for your wondrous work doing wondrous things in our lives we thank you oh god for your daughter that you have been using we ask that you increase our strength in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray oh lord that your mighty hand of protection is upon her and our also in the mighty name of jesus christ she goes from strength, to strength from glory to glory and concerning all of the uh all of the errands and all that are lifting up our hands oh god lord we pray oh lord god almighty that lord you continue to increase this ones also in the mighty name of jesus christ and lord we have to go and you bring in more laborers into your vineyard to serve as woman undiluted in the mighty name of jesus christ we Amen. give you all the glory, give you all the glory because you have heard us for this is a yeah. company we have a new god that when we call on your name you hear us 
Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. We give you praise for the spirit of grace and supplication that has come upon us and will continue to engage with this on a daily basis for us to stand in our, in our places of prayer, in our places as you have called us as white women that are winning warriors. We give you praise, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' most holy name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's take our declaration, then we'll share the grace and fellowship. Okay. One, two. Let's unmute our microphones and let us take it together. It's been posted. Let's take it one to go. Thank you, Jesus, for taking fellowship Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, sisters. God bless you all, man. Amen. Amen. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. More grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a beautiful weekend. Amen. Amen. Amen.